So this is a pretty old building. This is Meet old Lieutenant old Thomas J. Cox, a member of the Montgomery County Police Department. He likes his job, so much so he's been at it for 60 years. Do you remember the day that was taken? It's something that? no other law yeah. enforcement officer in the state of Maryland has ever achieved. We have a small plaque. It says uh, certificate is in recognition right. of 60 years of service to MCP. <laughs> and I will tell you, if we can instill the work ethic that Lieutenant Jaycox has and his dedication, uh, it is certainly something that a lot of our younger officers can take with them. And his colleagues say at the age of 82, he's no slacker. I mean, it's just amazing to think about the history of the things that have happened, in, in, you know, in this department that, um, uh, that, that you've been witness to. I'm always um, fascinated to, to listen to, to Tom talk about, you know, uh, how things were not only just 10, 20, 30 years ago, but, you know, 40, 50, and now 60 years ago. And it, it just bears no resemblance to, to police work today. The history behind him being a police officer, how far the department's come, the uniforms, he's obvious, you can see the difference in the uniforms from then and now, the cars, the equipment, and just uh, the technology and how far we've come with that and what we're using today versus what we did you know, 25 years ago. <laughs> There's probably absolutely no one on this department that will ever do this many years again. <laughs> he's, a, he's truly a legend. Truly a legend. Jay Cox was born and raised in Montgomery County. He was a 1951 graduate of Bethesda Chevy Chase High School. Before becoming an officer, he enlisted in the Army during the Korean War and was stationed in Missouri. After that stint, he returned to Montgomery County and applied to the police department. The rest is history. I've talked a little bit about what Montgomery County was like in 1955. How many police officers were here and, and what kind of things did you face? Well, it was 180 at the time. And there's always been a sound amount of crime, but there just wasn't as much of it and there wasn't as many people. We used to do a lot of things they don't do now, like. Uh, take care of dog bites and things like that. Today, Jay Cox serves on a force that numbers more than 1,200 in a community of more than 1 million residents. He says he learned the job of being an officer through experience and will tell you he was just fine with that. We used to go out on the street with a pencil and a piece of paper and one ticket book. Now they all out there have computers and all the cars and the cameras and a lot of them. I don't have one of those computers because they didn't buy enough when that started and I never gotten one in the meantime. I don't like computers that much anyway. He rose through the ranks of the force and today he is the deputy commander at the second district station in Bethesda. Low key and humble are words that are often used to describe Lieutenant Jay Cox, but don't let his laid back demeanor fool you. He still takes his job very seriously. But generally I don't patrol every day. I still write tickets. I wrote two of them this morning. Did you? For what? Some guy really blew a red light. I mean, he wrote a good five or so seconds after it. He blew right into the intersection, and I don't know how he missed everybody. Wow. So you see that stuff once in a while. And what does he think about the issues officers face today with crime? Uh, seems like a lot of people are their own worst enemies. Why they take these drugs, I don't know what it does for them. I think it makes them feel different and they think it's a big deal, mm -hmm. basically committing a crime against themselves. Lieutenant Jay Cox really doesn't think being an officer for 60 years is that big of a deal. Well, it's nice of everybody to be here. I really expect all this. So, uh... In fact, he was reluctant to sit down and talk with us. But just being around him and watching the response he gets from his fellow officers. We do it, Dad. Congratulations. It's clear this man is something special. And over the years, he's been like a dad. Let's put you back into perspective. He has outlasted 10 presidents who served since that time. 60 years ago, when you joined the police department, it was radically different as today. Some of the things he talks about, they're aghast because that was just the way things were done. Tom, I don't know what we do with you do a fantastic job. So is retirement in the future for Lieutenant Jay Cox? Did you ever see yourself staying here till you were 83 years old? No, I never gave it any thought. Some people start worrying about retiring the day they get here, but I never have worried about it. You keep having these parties, I may have to stay another 10 years. <laughs>